Yeah. Do you know how to dance salsa? I, you know I love to dance salsa. <gasps> you do. Um, well, I, I'm going to tell you this, but please don't tell anyone. You know, I kind of have two left feet in that department. Oh, don't worry. Our special reporter, Leticia, attended the Salsa Congress, and she's going to show us some salsa moves. How about you show me some while they watch the segment? Sounds like an idea. You guys watch the segment. I'm going to show her some moves. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. So it's one, two, three, four. Don't do this to me. Oh, my God. No, no vuelta. Hello, everyone. My name is Leticia Reyes, and I'm special reporting for En La Cena. Today is my special day because I'm outside the Hilton Hotel for the Salsa Congress 2009. I'm ready to shimmy and shake, so let's go together. Vámonos. So here we are at the entrance for the Congress, and I'm sitting here with the Executive Director, John Choco Knight. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing very good, very good. This is an immense event, and I'm wondering what kind of preparation it takes to do this, and what is your aim for this year's Congress? Our aim to this Congress is to make it better and better every year. Our goal is always to take this event to the next level and make it as, as good as possible. What do you really hope that people wind up taking away? What we would like is for people to get just as passionate as the dance and music as we are. Okay, we're here with... Ade. Ade, what is your company? Salsa Futsi. Salsa Fuji, which is a vendor and also a sponsor for the Salsa Congress, is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. So tell me, what is it about a salsa shoe that makes it any different from any shoe I can buy in a store? Uh, well, the salsa shoe is, uh, is, is very delicate. The, the material that, they use, uh, that we use to make the salsa shoe, you can't really wear them outside. The surface is like uh, suede, so you can't really like, walk on a regular floor with them. It has to be hardwood floor or carpets. You can't really do a tarmac or anything on the outside. What do I want to look for when I'm buying, when I'm making a purchase on a salsa shoe? Uh, if you're making a purchase, the best thing is uh, the support. Make sure the pattern is it's double padded. You want to make sure you have a lot of support. And also the material. There's, there's um, satin, there's leather, so it kind of really depends on how you want that to feel against your skin. But uh, for most part, just make sure it's, it's comfortable. It's because you're looking for comfort. That's the thing. That's the main thing. OK, so this is your selection here, right? Wow, the really nice shoes. Let me see the bottom. So this is what you mean about the suede. I see. Very soft, very yeah, different. this is very different from what you buy in a store. Yes. These are beautiful. You think I could try these on? Absolutely. What size is Perfect. I'm Bigfoot. Give me the big size. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Hey, I'm 5'8", what can I do? <laughs> okay, so my foot goes through the strap. Through the shoe, yeah, just the shoe we can put in. I feel like Cinderella. <laughs> Hold on, let's adjust these straps down here. And then it just goes around. And this is, you use that to kind of like tighten around the ankle. Okay, that's where you get the support? Yeah, that's where you get the support. And then you just kind of go around. Oh wow, I love the way they clasp. That's different, yeah. Oh, look how beautiful. What do you think? They fit right here? That's a good fit? Oh, I love them. I love them. Look how pretty. I'm ready to salsa. We can go to the workshops, shimmy, shake, and salsa, and my salsa footsies, right? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Oh, I think you're ready to I go. I think that'll work it. <laughs> Thank you. 
What is Casino Rueda? Casino Rueda is actually salsa. When we switch partners, like square dancing, but in Spanish with Latin music. So we're switching partners at all times. There's always somebody in the rueda, you know, in a circle, calling a, a turn, and everybody does the same turn. So it's almost like it looks like choreography, but it's not. So you're gonna teach me something before you go back to Miami, right? Oh yes, I'm gonna teach you. Ah, vamos, <laughs> vamos. <laughs> Oh. Here we go. And two pedals. I got the skinny on the backstage, so come back and check it out with me. And what's the name of the team and where are you guys from? Okay, we're Diamond Dancers from Puerto Rico. Ah, vaya, que parte de Puerto Rico? Parte de Caguas. De Caguas. How many times have you been here at the Congress? Here, two years. How many people are in your group? It's two couples, uh, so four people. Oh, wow. And what is she spraying all over? Uh, it's a glitter, you know, so when the lights turn, it's get like shimmery and beautiful. I'm Catherine. Victor. Joanna. And Franklin. Tell me what you did to prepare for this. Actually, we've been rehearsing for about three months. You know, this is a new group, and uh, we, we're going to try to bring something, you know, a bit different, but uh, hopefully everything's going to, you know, people are going to like this. I'm here, and this is the final day. The hard work and the sweat is paying off, and this night. International Salsa Congress Dance Championship sponsored by Vital Society is Luis Enanya. Tell me, what were some of your challenges going into today's performance? Uh, that's a good question. Very good question. Uh, we recently found out that the World Championships are happening this year, and because we don't live in the same city anymore, we made a brand new team. So for this competition, this is the first time we did this choreography. It was a debut of this routine, so that gave us a little bit of a nervous breakdown before the event. What kind of effort went into preparing for this? How many, how many hours did you put in a practice? We only worked about six hours, and I brought her over to San Francisco for a couple of days and um, we worked there we worked really really intense and you know we just know our material we know what works for us and you know we just went ahead and put in the material uh, that works for us and thank god it you know got us the title so we look forward to coming back here again so that's it everybody we just crowned the winner of the 2009 new york city salsa congress this is not the last show you're going to see with dancing and many other latin things so you stay tuned i'm leticia special reporter for en la cena <laughs> okay i'm still terrible at this i'm telling you you know what after watching this segment i should have no excuse don't worry i'll teach you some more moves please do so <laughs> how about while you teach me we go on a break and we'll be right back with more en la cena <laughs>